All right, Jay Tucker here with Swim Whirlpools. Uh, we came across something on a renovation just here recently that, um, uh, that inspired me to be able to show and teach about, uh, about some plumbing things that we run across in our industry and some things that, uh, you know, if you're building the new pool, you want to make sure that, um, uh, you know, you have the best possible uh, plumbing um, job done, if you will and to make sure that you don't have any problems in the future. So what I mean by that is, is that we had a, uh, um, uh, an older pool that was leaking, um, did a leak test, um, ended up finding that the plumbing uh, was leaking in one of the lines. So we, when we dug down and found it, uh, this is what we found. So if you see this, this is called flex pipe. And I don't know if you can see the little brown spots, but there's holes that are there. And, uh, and what those holes are from, are termites and so what has happened is is that the termites have eaten the pipe and gotten in there and then they've leaked and that's what all of these things are right here and so <clears throat> um, so we cut it out fixed it and everything's good now but but one of the things that uh, that I wanted to mention is is that flex pipe as you can see is used in our industry uh, unfortunately um, uh, too too much because it's easy so it comes in a roll typically um, pool builder will unroll it into the, you know, to the uh, backfill of the pool and uh, hook everything up and then and be, be done. So it's quick, easy, gets it done. But from a hydraulic standpoint, and when, I'm, when I say hydraulics, I'm talking about the flow of the, of the water that's going through the pipe. What we want to achieve is the least resistance that that water has to come in contact with as it makes its circulation through the, through the plumbing and then through the pool. So the lower resistance we have, the more efficient um, uh, plumbing system that we have. And so that hydraulics, the way we do that, less fittings, less, less uh, curves, turns, all of that kind of stuff, that we can lower that resistance. It's just, in layman's terms, it's better for the pump. It doesn't have to work as hard. Um, and also, uh, from an efficiency standpoint, you know, you're saving some, some energy because that pump is not having to work uh, as hard to get that water to move through it. But the flex pipe, we talked about the termites being able to eat it, but also if you can look and see inside this pipe is some rigid um, uh, pieces. And so, and because of the nature of this material, if you can think of it as just like little fingers that are there and as that water's traveling through it, those fingers sort of slow that, that water down. So it's not as efficient. So not only is it susceptible to um, termites, but the, the hydraulic flow that's in this pipe is not, um, is not the best as well. So what is recommended is what we call rigid PVC pipe, and it looks like this. And so if you can see these two, two pieces, is that this is hard, termites aren't gonna eat through that. The internal um, uh, surface of this pipe is a lot more smooth, and, uh, and so as that water is traveling through there, it doesn't, um, it's not coming into contact with anything that would slow it down as much as it would be on the flexible PVC pipe. So when a pool is being plumbed, ideally what would be the best practice <clears throat> is to eliminate as many fittings as you can. And one of the things that we do um, is on, on a majority of our jobs is to be able to heat bend this pipe. And so what that means is you heat it up and then this can bend. So when we go around curves, instead of putting a 45 or a 90, uh, that is more restrictive is that we can just use the pipe and bend it in order to make it again, cut down on the resistance as that water goes through the pipe. If we can heat bend it and, and cut down on the fittings, that's always the best. So but anyway, just a quick tip of just plumbing basics and the different types of pipes and the things that we see, uh, especially on you know, in some of the pools that are out there in the ground. So it can be expensive to dig all of this up and, uh, and replace it if you have that issue. So it's, it's better even though it may take a little more time, is to be able to do plumbing out of the rigid PVC and the heat bend it if you can. Sometimes you're not able to in certain circumstances um, and you have to use fittings, but anything that you can do to reduce that friction is always the best. Thanks.